Hello, 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 this is Kenny Evans. Got another car video. The topic of this video is going to be called, Do Women Care About Race? So, our short answer is yes and no. Because you can't have a woman who was um, born racist or raised, well, no, nobody's born racist, but raised racist. A white woman who's a raised racist against uh, black people. And she, there's no way she won't have sex with them. He won't do anything. Won't marry, no relationship, won't even really interact unless they have to, you know, with a, a black man. But then you could also have people who maybe they aren't racist, they weren't raised racist, but then at the end of the day, they've had like a white woman who's had a lot of bad experience with black men. So she decides she's not going to date black men anymore. But at the same time, you know, you could have situations where um, a, a white woman uh, was racist or is racist against black men, but she still is very sexually attracted to black men. Yeah, I know Lacario has brought this up and I've seen it on, online. You know, a white woman, a racist white woman, sleeps with a black man. Sure, I mean, it happens. It's Nothing is black and white, pun intended, because sexuality conquers all. If a woman is highly sexually attracted to a man, she will do whatever she has to do with, to be with that man. She will sell out her family. She'll travel across the world. She'll kill. She'll steal. She'll do it all because of that sexuality. She'll follow his lead. She'll cooperate. She'll do everything. That man will have her because she is really sexually attracted to him. Of course, there's other factors included as well. You know what I mean? So um, that is very important. You know, but even if you, you get a woman who is racist and she meets a, a, a black man and they kind of interact with each other and she he warms up to her or she warms up to him and she likes his personality Maybe she develops feelings. Maybe he changes and he becomes more sexually appealing to her. Then she can be seen with. She could, she, she could be attracted to him, have interest in him. You know, she may just keep it as just sexual. She may never have a relationship, get married, but just have sex with him. He could be her secret. You know? Or. She can find genuine feelings and really develop with him and get in a relationship and, and or get married to him. You know, so there's really no one way to have all this, have all this go because people are people and nothing is just one way. There's a lot of different variables. You know, even with the woman who might have had bad experiences with black men in the past, there's always a chance she could have another black man that she's interested in. She was, she could be thinking, oh, I don't want to deal with them because I have all these bad experiences in the past. But then she decides to do it anyway. And things connect and click and she enjoys this black man. And, you know, then they start having sex and, you know, get in a relationship and, and get married. You know, so you really just never know how, how things like this could play out. Because at the end of the day, it is still a man and a woman. And they're individuals. And it depends on how their interactions go. You know, sexuality is very, 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 very important. <laughs> And uh, when it comes to relationships. And that really can conquer all. And obviously the type of man, you know, that man is. You know, so women will, will they may have this uh, mindset. Let's say a white woman has a mindset of black men. Just due to either how they're raised, society, all that. You know, they, they're criminalized. But at the same time, black men are still very sexualized. You know, and this racist woman, 
you know, she could have a perception of them, but she still may fuck, you know, have sex with them <laughs> because of, you know, the fetish. But also, she may have sex with them just because of the sexuality, like I explained in the, you know, previously. And she just, she finds men attractive. And this black man fits what she finds sexually attractive, regardless of his race. And then she moves forward. You know, so, you know, obviously with the fetish, the, the woman is more than likely just going to keep it sexual. She's not going to be, you know, having any sort of relationship or anything with the, the black man or marriage. But then you have the other side where, you know, she is just sexually attracted to him. Whereas obviously sex, it could be a relationship just depending on the interaction goes and then potentially marriage. You know, interracial inter inter dating <laughs> is not obviously as taboo as it used to be in the past just because of how society is coming along. But it's still fairly taboo. You don't see it all the time. You see it a lot more, you know, than you used to. But, um... It's still a lot of pressure on certain people, depending on how you're raised. Sometimes, like I said, even if you're 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 not necessarily a racist, or you're not so a woman's not born racist, you get the taboo when it comes to dating a black man because, like I said, because of society, or maybe you're you you know certain people maybe she's had a bad experiences. Um, with a black man or maybe people in her family have had bad experiences with uh, black men or people of other races or maybe even if they're not their family is not racist they discriminate against black people you know and you know their family gives them a hard time not everybody is willing to put up with um all the the i don't want to say trouble but all that may come with interracial dating or interracial uh, relationships it's a lot, even still today, you know, it's, it's more common, but still not all the way socially accepted. You know, I got, <laughs> I know a guy who, he's a white guy who believes, you know, um, black, uh, people and white people shouldn't date. He's a cool guy, you know, but he, he just believes that, you know, um, and that's just kind of how it is for some people. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. You will never, you know, date a, a black woman or a woman of another race, but that's just that's his preference. So, um, it, it's real. It's real out here. Not everybody's down for the swirl, you know. But in general, women do not, in my experience, women don't care about race. Um, but again. It just depends on their experiences and how they're raised and everything. So, but ultimately as a man, you should not, if you're a black man wanting to date a white woman, do not care about race. Do not care about race. Obviously, uh, when it comes to all that, the most important thing is how is she flowing with you? Is she cooperative? Does she make things easy for you? Is she, you know, submissive, obedient, you know? Does she go with your flow? That is what's most important. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid to approach a woman just because she's white and you feel like she's going to reject you or she's going to, you know, um, charge you with rape or whatever, you know, craziness may be going on through your, in your head. All that stuff is that all that stuff will happen only if you do not vet her well. Because regardless of race, we are still men and women. And at the end of the day, we have to be able to interact well. And that will tell, maybe not if she's racist, but if she is for you. According to how well your interaction goes. So, um, you know, you always got to be able to be the leader. Don't go with her. Don't follow her. Be the leader. And if she's not willing to do that, of course, let her go. You know, it's very important. You know, it's it's, it's just very important that you just find women who um, are willing to go with your program. And that's really, that's really it. 
you know, nothing more to it, you know, so keep it easy, keep it breezy, and don't worry about race, women love black men, white women, but women in general, they love black men, you know, but of course some don't, and at the end of the day, if they don't, let them go, don't worry about it, there'll be plenty who do, <laughs> trust me, trust me, trust me, there are plenty that do, you know what I mean, so, uh, at the end of the day, it is it's 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 really not a big deal. Just do what you must, and uh, get go for the woman that you want, regardless of race. So that's what I got for you guys today. Um, like, comment, subscribe, follow. Let me know what you think. Whether you agree or disagree, let's have a conversation. You know, so uh, donate if you uh, find value in this, and if you don't find value, it's okay. Keep watching whenever you feel comfortable. It's all good. I don't mind you give me a little bit here and there. You know what I mean? It's all good. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys be safe. And um, until next week, peace.